వెల్కమ్ టు పవిత్ర ల్యాప్టాప్ కేర్ సో యూ ఆర్ రియలీ బోర్డ్ ఆఫ్ మై పిపిటి సెషన్స్ సో యూ విల్ బి థింకింగ్ వై సో మెనీ వీడియోస్ ఫార్ టైప్ సి యూ కెన్ ఫినిష్ ఇట్ అవుట్ ఇన్ వన్ వీడియో యూ విల్ బి థింకింగ్ లైక్ దిస్ రైట్ సో ద థింగ్ ఈస్ దిస్ దీస్ ఆర్ ఆర్ న్యూ టెక్నాలజీస్ అవర్ స్టూడెంట్ హెస్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ డీప్లీ దట్ ఈస్ ద రీజన్ స్టెప్ బై స్టెప్ పార్ట్ బై పార్ట్ ఐ మేడ్ ఏ వీడియోస్ so today with schematic i will explain what are the things i already explained previously so let us start with the schematic so here one of my friends sent el580 schematic so he, he was having a issue with the bias related things so that in previous video i already showed what error he was getting and what the solution that also i explained so now clearly in deeply i will explain as per the previous videos what is the interlink between previous videos and this particular schematic see here is the schematic thunderbolt 3 port a usb type c port b in 58 page this thunderbolt related information has given in 103 page this usb type c port b the information has given this one is port the already explained it's a cable part and receptacle uh, receptacle part mean motherboard type c part that part will connect this one and this one okay and next how it has connected to this pd and how this pd will support and what are the output it will give and here it's a pd switch the pd we have di- divided into five types right five part so how it will work and what the port switch work in reality and what about thunderbolt intel what it does alpen trench those all things we are going to discuss in this particular video not only one video it may be multiple videos okay first today i am going to introduce what is that type c cable and receptacle and how it works in schematic here is the schematic of thinkpad lenovo thinkpad l580 see here is the thunderbolt 3 port a and here is the thunderbolt type c port b both are connected to pd how it is connected to pd and what are the port works and from this particular port to where it has gone and what are the ic's has connected we will check one by one now we will check the type c it's a 103 we'll go to page number 103 here is the type c connection in previous video i already explained how is the receptacle and cable has to connected if you connected electronically marked power cable then you will get charging point but not in type c okay it won't detect in thunderbolt only you are able to charge the battery if you connect here you won't charge the battery of this particular laptop see here it's the type c connection so as i explained one side it has total 24 pins one side a 1 to 8 12 and other side b 1 to b 12 the main part is cc1 and cc2 if cc1 has connected to the motherboard and cc2 will be weak on connection in that case dp1 positive and dp1 negative will work data communication will start in case cc2 has connected in reversely the reverse oriented cable will be detected in cc2 if it is connected then dp2 and dp uh, dn2 will work and dp1 and d1 uh, dn1 will be disconnected so this is type c okay in uh, next we will check in thunderbolt page number 58 the same connection is there or not that we'll have a look see duck one this is actually thunderbolt connection here also you can see a1 to a12 b1 to b12 if cc1 has connected data plus and data minus of 
वन कनेक्शन विल बी वर्क एंड ईयर सी सी टू विल बी वीक ऑन कनेक्शन एंड डी टू माइनस एंड डी टू प्लस विल बी डिसकनेक्टेड ओके सेम थिंग एज ए टाइप सी नाउ वी विल डिस्कस दिस पर्टिकुलर पोर्ट वेयर इट एज गन सी ईयर टी बी टी सी सी वन दिस कनेक्शन दिस सी सी वन एंड यू एस बी टू पी पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव विल बी कनेक्टेड टू ये प्रोटेक्टर आई सी 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 ओवर वोल्टेज प्रोटेक्टर आई सी सी टी बी टी सी वन एंड सी टू ईयर इज द आउटपुट आफ्टर कनेक्शन ऑफ दिस दिस आउटपुट अगेन इट्स कनेक्टेड टू पी डी मीन्स वॉट आर द पोर्ट ईयर इज द थंडर बोल्ट थंडर बोल्ट कनेक्टर दिस कनेक्शन हैज कनेक्टेड टू द ओवर वोल्टेज प्रोटेक्शन आई सी सी दिस वोल्टेजेस विल मेंटेन दिस द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर आई सी ओके लाइक दैट इन टाइप सी ऑल्सो वी कैन सी आई डेंट सी दैट वन ओके वन सेकेंड आई विल चेक यर इज द ओवर वोल्टेज प्रोटेक्शन फॉर दिस टाइप सी कनेक्टर से दिस टाइप सी यर सी सी वन प्लस एंड माइनस एंड एस बी वन आर कनेक्टेड टू दिस प्रोटेक्शन आई सी सी दिस प्रोटेक्शन आई सी 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 वन सी सी टू एस बी वन एस एस बी यू टू दिस आउटपुट अगेन विल गो टू पी डी सी सी वन एंड सी सी टू इट मीन्स इट हैज टू यू एस बी टाइप सी एंड बोथ आर कनेक्टेड टू पी डी थ्रू द प्रोटेक्शन सर्क्यूट See one important thing you need to keep it in your mind so the USB type C connection okay here here or here you will be having voltage so what exact voltage that we will discuss see in these pins V bus from where we will get we will get from the PD see now we will check this one USB bus connection. So where it has gone? It has gone to voltage monitor IC. Then here is the output. Okay, where it has connected. So that I am going to check V bus A. Uh, see, here is the major thing. See USB C V bus twenty. here is the 20 volts it's coming from what i see tps 65988 c this one is pd ic so here we are getting the output that usb c v bus 20 that one only we are searching right so the same thing here through this voltage monitor it's becoming this connection that connection you can see in this type c connector also so here what are the things we discussed previously we discussed cc1 uh, d plus and d minus and after that it's a transmitter and receiver as connected to where that one we will check now so here some pins are connected to the esd things and here is a over voltage protection ic okay these connectors as connected to this over voltage protection ic and then this tx and rx as connected to where usually it will be in switch see this one it's a transmitter and here is the receiver here is the ic the tx and rx as connected to port switch so now we'll come back to usb type c here the major thing here this four port are connected to port switch and these are connected to esd and or protection ic and now remaining is this one is coming from are going to this particular ic that one is voltage monitor ic here is the output this output is connected to pd from here this is the output the pd has given this particular 
USB V bus 20 volts. And here one more thing we have to note down. This one is I2C. I2C. What is that I2C? See, I2 is a communication protocol. Okay, I2 means integrated, uh, inter-integrated. It means I means inter two. It's a double I. So that's why inter-integrated circuit. So, see. Inter integrated circuit 1 and inter integrated circuit 2. It has 2 actually total 3. It has total 3 3 pin are interrelated to particular I2C. Last one IRQ. What is this IRQ? This one is acknowledgement. I received that kind of signal will pass through this particular acknowledgement. By default, it will be there will be voltage inside this so we have to give that external voltage then it will become low what is this spi serial port input hmm? and this one i2c what are the difference between these three this pd having two i2c and one spi spi is the what is that bias ic 150 ml bias ic i already explained in previous video so this one ICL I2C I2C is a communication protocol actually it has two data line one is clock and data okay clock and data this one is bidirectionally it will work see both are same SPI and this one I2C both are same but the thing is major difference is it has half duplex and it has full duplex speed it has much speed and it has very less speed through this communication port your data will pass see here i2c it has it's a thunderbolt clock thunderbolt data that thunderbolt already we discussed right so that port data and clock is connected to i2c1 these two i2c are connected to thunderbolt port even SPI also connected to the thunderbolt it means the charging charging the battery charging of this particular L580 laptop has connected to thunderbolt without this thunderbolt the battery won't charge because it has BIOS IC the communication port all port are connected to this particular IC this PDIC so now you come to know what is that I2C. I2C is a inter-integrated circuit. It has two bus. Uh, one is SM bus we have heard. I think so in previous in all IC section we will be having SD and SEL. SM bus through that SM bus communication only we will get that SD and SEL. Here I2C means it has two bus. Uh, actually it's a half duplex bus. So it has clock and data through that clock data will pass so irq one more port is there that will be by default is a high we have to make it low internally by default it will be high so it should be in low then only the acknowledgement will pass the data transmitter uh, transmitter will pass okay so clock and data will finish it here so this isp also having the bias the message it will give uh, to my friend I already given a message the adapter is not connectable or well those kind of message you are getting through this I2C or SPI bus see SPI having bias here only you are getting